Welcome to Lighting Basics. In this lesson, we'll go over basic terminology, how to effectively use light in your studio, and understand how to analyze light when you're on location. So first, the terms. First, we have intensity, which is simply the amount of light that is given off. Some lights are a simple on-off switch, and others are controlled by a dimmer, which allows you to control the intensity of the light. Directionality. When we think of a light's directionality, we are simply analyzing where the light source is coming from. This can be from any angle. You can see from front light, top light, side light, bottom light, and rear light. Hard versus soft light. Next, we need to know the difference between hard and soft light. The easiest way to think about this is a sunny day versus a cloudy day. On a sunny day, we cast a hard, defined shadow, which we call hard light. On a cloudy day, the clouds diffuse the light and spread it apart, resulting in softer shadows, or sometimes no shadows at all, which we call soft light. The same can be achieved with studio lights. Color temperature. Standard white lights are measured in degrees on the Kelvin scale. Wait, what? I know. Yes. If you go to any hardware store and look at any of the lights, they will have a temperature associated with it to tell you exactly what color that light is. We consider light somewhere between a warm and cool range. Now, to be honest, you don't have to know all of this, but you can impress your friends next time you're at the hardware store. Traditionally, corporate videos tend to have little cooler looks and weddings tend to have, be a bit warmer. You need to make that creative decision for yourself. And all kidding aside, it is important to keep all of your lights around the same color temperature or else your camera will struggle to pick up which it should balance to and your videos may have a weird tint to it. Next, a note about safety. Before you start working with lights, it's very important to stay safe. One, lights get very hot. Don't burn yourself. Each time you're done shooting with your lights, let them sit for at least 10 minutes before handling them. This gives them time to cool off. And two, don't trip over cords. Many lights require you to plug them in and be sure to safely use extension cords to leave enough slack so you don't have to be a ninja to get in out of your set. You can break your lights or worse, you can break yourself. Be safe. Okay, so now that we're experts on lights, let's apply this to our set. You can get as creative as you want with your lighting, but to keep it simple, I'm gonna show you the four lighting setups I use most often. First, let's start with the most basic lighting setup, the three-point lighting system. This is Film School 101. The three-point lighting system is made of, you guessed it, three lights. The first light we start with is called the key light, which is the brightest light. As you can see, it casts shadows on the other side of their face, so we are going to add a second light, which is called the fill light. The fill light simply fills in the shadows on the face. Finally, we have the third light, which is called the hair light, which, indeed, is intended to light your hair. This light is positioned behind your subject, and its purpose is to create some dimension between your subject and the background. Next, let's see the most simple lighting setup we can use, the one key setup. If you're just getting started, then you may only have one light, and that's okay. The most important thing to remember is to be brighter than your background. In this setup, make sure that your light is soft enough not to create any hard shadows. I would suggest to place the light straight on as much as possible. This will probably be near the camera or even on top of the camera. One popular setup is using a ring light that goes around the camera and creates a nice soft light around your face and also creates a cool light around your eye. The two key setup. Now I say two key lights because they will actually have the same intensity. This is where you have the camera in the middle and you have two soft lights on either side at about a 45 degree angle from your subject. This creates a nice even look across their face and is not distracting. I can recommend this setup with a hair light for your studio. Using light for your background. Now this isn't exactly a setup, but you wanna consider the background when you're lighting your set. You as a subject want to be brighter than your background, but that doesn't mean that it has to be dark. Consider the space between you and your backdrop. Can you use the same lights to light you and your backdrop? Will the lights in the room be able to light the backdrop? Will you need to get separate lights to light you and your backdrop? One of my favorite setups is when you have a backdrop and you place the light right behind you and focus it on the backdrop. This creates a cool natural halo around you. If you have limited space and have to be close to your backdrop, pay attention to the shadows on the backdrop. Even moving just a few inches away can make a big difference. 
Fun fact, if you double the distance of light from your subject, you will lose 75% of its intensity. Moving your lights around makes a big difference. When you're on location, remember this and you can create great looking videos based on any environment. One, find your key light, whether this is the sun or sunlight coming from a window or just the brightest light in the room. Two, avoid being backlit. If you're completely backlit, then it'll result in a silhouette effect, which is very distracting. And three, bring or find fill lights. You can use any reflective surface to bounce light from the key light to use as a fill light, or you can bring a small light to use as a fill light if you need one. Okay, we made it through, and I know that was a lot, and there's a lot more reference material below this video. Now that we know the basics of lighting, you can now go set up your studio and walk into any situation and create great looking videos.